Todd, you worked hard and you hit the front in the last quarter, but again, I guess a, a side with a bit more experience and, and quality were able to finish over the top. Yeah, look, we conceded the last four goals, but yeah, we'll be tired towards the end and didn't take our chances, but we made a few skill errors during the day, but we generally tried to play how we've been trying to. I think there was a lot more to like. I think we had six guys under 10 games and maybe 10 or 12 that have played less than 30, so um, yeah, there was a lot to like. Is that your season sort of summed up in a, a nutshell? Or I mean, you've been there or thereabouts, started really well, mm. um, and like today again, you're in front early in the last quarter, but they came home and took the last four, so it's just been not quite happy. Nah, but I guess today most a lot of the things that let us down, I think, was skill. You know, and we can improve that. We can work hard and get better at it. But a few times we look like we're going to get through and score. You know, we messed it up. Um, and a few times we look like we're going to defend better. And some of our turnovers were almost undefendable. So, um, look, much more bo positive, I guess, this week than some of our other losses. Um, you know, we've, we've had some losses during the year, but today there was still a lot to like. A lot of young players that look like they're going to be really good players for us. Um, you know, some of our leaders stood up. So, look, we couldn't sustain it, but that sort of can happen with, with young groups. Does it help stay positive given that their team is going to finish second and they've got a lot of premiership players in their side still and they're gearing up for the finals but you could still really take it up to them for pretty much the whole four quarters? It's probably been a story really for the last three weeks, really. Um, you know, the Subi game, we'll ride in it with 15 minutes to go and then uh, ran out of legs. Um, same last week against Peel, we got, to front, got in front and then or just a couple of points behind and then conceded, you know, the last three or four goals and then the same today. So, um, you know, we certainly don't want to become a trend and we're certainly not satisfied, but uh, there was a, certainly some passage of the play with the ball and certainly when we didn't have it today that, that we've been working really hard on that, you know, we liked. That was probably the most time that Dragovic has spent in the midfield and he really delivered. It was probably the best game he's played all year. Yeah, he's played a little bit midfield the last probably... You know, month I guess um, we've been really conscious of getting the exposing the young guys, and you know we don't want them to just come up and play around the fringes. We want to put them in. So Callum Archie had some time in the middle and on wing, and um, you know Coach Stewart first game ten tackles. Um, so oh, and Asu as well playing on the wing. So I guess when we play the young guys, we want to play them in positions where they can have an impact and where they've played most of their footy. So they certainly showed enough to to suggest that they're going to be good players. Coach brother Tim, I believe he did well in the residence today. We might get to see him next week, even if you're going to continue you know, promoting him at the club. Yeah, look, I've, I think we've probably turned over maybe low to mid 40s that have, have played senior footy this year. So, look, we're eager to give um, Tim. He was pretty close this week, so yeah. he'll be banging on the door again. And uh, yeah, you know, with his younger brother playing today, I think he'd be pretty keen to get in. So we'll see. We'll see what happens during the week. At the other end of the scale, Craig White's last game. At home, at least, we'll wait and see if he plays next week. I guess that's up to him in a lot of ways. Um, did you try to use that as some sort of motivation at all before the game, or at maybe at three-quarter time? No, not, not to be honest. No, we didn't. So look, he's had a fantastic career, and um, you know we know at the end of the year he's, he's not going to play. But um, for us, it's about you know being in the moment, being today. I mean, we I suppose we spoke about it during the week when he spoke to the group that you know your career comes and goes pretty quick. So. Uh, you got to make the most of it. Just on that, the brothers team, I mean, Ashburn and Cole Hands were two of your better players today. Um, so if the, the Stuart boys were to play together next week, I mean, to have two sets of brothers, um, unusual, but I mean, the, the young and the old, I mean, the, the young boys are probably learning off Cole and Ashburn. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's always special to play. Uh, anytime you can play senior footy with your brother. Um, you know, I know I was pretty excited to do it when I first came back from Melbourne a long time ago now, but that was a big lure to come home and, you know, play senior footy with your brother so um, you know we won't pick them just because they've got a brother playing but sure. the great thing is is you know Kay earned the right and Tim's doing everything he can so hopefully he gets his chance if not this year in the future. And Ashburn's going today I mean he was outstanding again sort of tried hard over four quarters and just never gave up. No he never does so they're both competitive and that's what we love about him so look he's uh, work around the club the last couple of weeks especially um, to lead the young players and, and, and his strikes been you know really sensational really so um, hopefully he can keep it going the stand over medal he has to be in contention most years he's not eligible for whatever reason but he's been suspended but he's had a pretty solid all round year yeah he's been really consistent so um, you know you never know when the umpires give the votes what will happen so but look he's been really consistent for us Adam McIntosh is someone that probably often gets spoken about a lot but he 
he does a, a lot of really good jobs for you, and he's probably one of those guys that will step up even more as a leader go, going forward. But you have to play under size a little bit today. He did that well, and he makes some mistakes there now and then, but he he loves it, must love the way he makes up for him. Just so desperate. There was one play there for his record of time where he turned it over, but chased down and, and probably stopped the goal with, with his chase. Just that sort of character is something you must, must really like. Yeah, no doubt. And I think he may have played 50 games just, but I don't think he's ever played... Um, you know, a full season. So, uh, look, he's been one that's really embraced what we want to do and how we want to play from the moment I walked in. He's trained hard. He can play tall, he can play small, he's ultra competitive. So, uh, look, everyone makes mistakes and, and no one does it on purpose. But uh, I think he's really grown um, as a player and as a person throughout the year. So, um, you know, we'll be looking for him to finish off strongly and then, um, you know, have a big spree season looking for next year. Jared Parry has played mostly as a midfielder. We saw him playing in defence today. Was that for any, was that a match-up reason, or was he running with striking? Or no, he's look, he's played back before a little bit, okay. but again, one of our leaders. But I think he's only played 30 or 32 games. Uh, he's had a knee, couple of knee recos, and um, but I think you see the way he goes about it. He's you know pretty fierce at the contest, and um, plays like you you want your players to play. One game to go down to Manjit and take on Peel. What do you try to get get out of it? Oh, we're just trying to build, you know, continue to improve. For, you know, for us, obviously, finals is out of, you know, contention this year, but we're still looking to build and improve and um, see young players and expose them and, you know, see who stands up and who doesn't. So um, hopefully we'll, we'll have a look at another couple this week. Your involvement with the club this season overall, you've obviously enjoyed it. Yeah, no doubt. It's been great. So, um, you know, always, we'll never say it before, but as a player, opposition player and coach, it was always a club you admired from the outside about how they go about it and now that I've been lucky enough to be inside it you know it's uh, yeah it's a, it's a really good strong traditional um, grassroots club and I've, I've loved it so I can't wait to continue and um, you know get into pre-season improve and you know try and get us back uh, into finals contention for next year. How do you go coaching against West Perth your old club? No, no real issues there's, uh, there's only a couple of players probably still going around um, you know it's more fun walking into the old staff and uh, volunteers that are that are still there that have been there since you know I got there 20 years ago and they're still there so you know there's some great people here uh, that are volunteers and have been here a long time and, and they're and they're the ones you enjoy catching up with.